It's often said that balloons can lift a child off the ground. In fact, a scene like this even appeared in Mr. Bean. But how many balloons would it really take to make that happen? Through testing, they discovered that it takes about 46 helium balloons to lift just one pound. They then borrowed a colleague's daughter as their brave little test subject. She weighed 44 pounds, meaning they'd need around 2,000 balloons to get her airborne. So they bought a massive pile of balloons and learned how to tie them securely. Then came the long, exhausting process of blowing them up. But when they tried, the 2,000 balloons weren't enough. Either their calculations were off or some of the balloons had leaked. The sandbag they used as a weight, equal to the girl's weight, wouldn't budge. After some quick math, they realized they'd need closer to 4,000 balloons. Meanwhile, more and more balloons were popping or deflating over time, so they were in a race against the clock. Nearly six hours later, they finally had 3,800 balloons ready. This time, the cluster lifted the 44-pound sandbag off the ground. Maddie, their little test pilot, was over the moon. For safety, all the balloons were tied to a chair, and Maddie was secured with a safety line. When everything was set, Tori let go, and the mountain of balloons carried Maddie up into the air for a real-life balloon flight. Unlike what we often see in movies, it doesn't just take a handful of balloons to make something fly. And once the experiment was over, they popped and deflated the balloons in every way they could. 